A power amplifier is an electronic device that's designed to raise line level signals to speaker level. Instruments and microphones produce very low output power, often just a few millivolts, and this is nowhere near strong enough to drive a speaker. A preamp is used to increase instrument or mic levels to line level at 0.316 or 1.23 volts, much more robust, but still not enough to drive a speaker. A power amplifier takes that line level signal and increases it to speaker level. So as an example of what this means, a thousand watts of power into 8 ohms requires around 90 volts at about 11 amps of current. That's a much, much stronger signal than you get out of an instrument or out of a preamp. So a power amplifier is doing a tremendous amount of heavy lifting in this system. A power amplifier might be a standalone device such as a rack mountable power amp used to drive PA speakers or on stage monitor wedges or even studio monitors, and that's what I have here, a QSC power amplifier. Or a power amplifier could be integrated into a device, such as the power amp section in a guitar amplifier, or the power amplifier built into an active studio monitor or a powered PA speaker. Originally, power amplifiers used vacuum tubes to increase the level of signals, and many guitar amplifiers as well as some hi-fi audiophile systems still use vacuum tubes. Later, tubes were replaced with transistors, which made power amps lighter, more compact, less expensive, and more durable. Traditional power amplifiers have long used linear technologies or designs, where tubes or transistors are used as valves that control the amount of power produced. In simple terms, audio signal feeds in one side of the tube or transistor, and power from the AC wall outlet comes in the other side. The tube or transistor uses the incoming wall voltage to increase the level of the signal to where it can drive a speaker. There's a linear relationship between the analog incoming signal, the power voltage, and the analog speaker level output signal. Today, many power amplifiers use Class D technology, also known as switch mode. Class D utilizes pairs of power transistors that work together to produce a square wave. This square wave is modulated by the incoming audio signal to create the output signal at speaker level, a technique that's also known as pulse width modulation. Class D is much, much more efficient than linear, and the way in which it's implemented means that amplifiers can be made much smaller, lighter, and cheaper while producing high levels of power. You may sometimes see a Class D power amplifier referred to as a digital amplifier, but there's nothing digital about the process. The amplifier is using analog switching principles, not digital encoding, and the signal is never converted to ones and zeros. When choosing a power amplifier for a studio monitor or live sound system application, the key is to get enough clean power. In most cases, it's not too much power that blows or damages speakers. It's distortion or clipping created in an overdriven and underpowered power amp that causes problems. Now, the power amp section in a guitar amplifier is a different situation, particularly with tube amplifiers. In this case, the tubes in the power amplifier are often used to enhance the tone and even to add distortion to the signal. Let's take a look inside this QSC power amplifier. Here to my right is where the power connects to the wall, and this is our power supply section. We have a couple of toroidal transformers here inside this section, as well as large capacitors that are used both to store electricity as well as to filter that electricity. Now, a lot of heat is generated in the process of amplifying a signal. These are large heat sinks that cool down the components that are doing a lot of the heavy lifting inside the amplifier. And we also have a fan here at the front, which removes the warmed air out the front of the amplifier. We've got a large transformer here for converting the signal, more capacitors for filtering and storing electricity, and other components as well. But it's all used to drive that line level signal that's coming here on the left side of the amplifier out of the speaker outputs that are here in the center. If you're interested in learning more about audio concepts like this, visit Sweetwater.com's news and research page or check out more videos in this playlist.